mu February wa 1997 mu sanfu nga 10 na msanfu a mauli legabu nawo na nga saba sumba jana ni rumu bwe ali afiride mu kabenje ka motoka abantu bagano okuchikiriza era lero nzikiriza nkubuli lerwachi Omanyisa abasumba yakolokotanga nnyo government ya Idi Amin olwechi wamba bantu no kubatta echabu na Uganda ku mulembe gwa Amin Munange nga 10 na mukaga February lokumenda nsanvu musanvu saba sumba yakwatibwa ne ba minister okwali Elinayo Wilson Oliema ne Charles Obotho Fumbi nga bavunanibwa ogwo kulya munsi yabwe olukwe Oluna kulwerumu Idi Amin yakubo olukungana mu Kampala mu yaragire nsaba kwa tebo na nga gamba anti bali bakolagana ne Dr. Obote eyali mu buwanga anguse nga ayagala kuvonika government ya Amin Enkera Radio Uganda yabikire gwanga nga bakwate bwe bali bagezeza ko kutoloka nga batwalibwa mu nkomyo olwe moto kaje bali mu ne waba netomere ndala era bonna ne bafira ombolaga Tell me the names of other plotters I have nothing to tell you, Your Excellency, because I do not fear death. Emirambo jawe wa abenganda za wa genzi, choka Henry Chamber, yali minister webio vula mwebi serebio, ya wandi kechitabo, echiti wa state of blood, mwearagi rensinti ya mirambo, jali kevi undu bia masasi. Government ya mini weyagwa wateke wa waka chiko okuzule chitufu oro Mustafa Adrisi eali vice president wa idi ya mini na kakasanti ya bakuwa tebo na okuali ni jana niru umubati wabutibwa iranga ya li maria mungu eabati la mungambi ya maje emu. Nkulete dobu tambi obulagebi ya liwo mulukumre nda nsambu musambu ngeza chitekede niti jana niru umu ya li afude. Um, anything is possible, but I don't believe it for a moment. Uh, he was a friend of mine, Archbishop Lewum, a big, strong, gentle man. And I don't believe for a single moment that he would take part in a plot or have anything to do with arms. But I do believe, in fact, I know that he withstood the regime and wasn't frightened to do so. He was a very brave man. You yourself must feel a profound sense of regret at his death, but do you also feel anger towards President Amin? I feel anger and pity combined. Uh, anger that such appalling injustice has been done. And this is only the climax of a long period of similar acts. The murder of the most reverend Janani Lurum, Archbishop of the Anglican province of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Boga Zaire, by the Uganda government security forces, is a crime that has caused shock and horror throughout the church around the world. The report that his death was caused by a motor accident is as preposterous as the allegations leveled against him by President Amin. Archbishop Lewum is only one more victim of the wave of atrocities in Uganda against which we in the All Africa Conference of Churches have consistently protested for a number of years. We are alarmed and terrified by indications that the murder of the Archbishop may be part of a campaign of terror 
unleashed against Christians in Uganda. Once again, we call upon President Amin to put an immediate end to these indiscriminate killings in Uganda. We reiterate the request that I sent to him yesterday that a delegation from the All-Africa Conference of Churches be allowed to visit Uganda to examine the evidence which lay behind the allegations brought against the Archbishop, and particularly now to inquire into the circumstances surrounding his death. In a case uh, like the assassination uh, of the Anglican bishop, uh, under the guise of an automobile accident uh, in Uganda. Uh, that, that kind of conduct by a government, uh, as well as the conduct of the reported uh, 18th person jumping out of the window in South Africa, uh, that the world knows better than that. Uh, and that kind of action, I think, has to be uh, condemned in the court of world opinion, in public opinion. Uh, and and those malicious and sadistic elements in every society uh, need to be confronted. Uh, and people of goodwill within every society, uh, including South Africa and Uganda, need to be encouraged. I am sure the late Archbishop Lugun deemed and attempted that persecution, even the mouth of gun, when those cruel inhuman soldiers of a mean visited him that night in search for arms, he realized that he was facing to die. The list of the things which we read about the dead, persecution, are comprehensive enough to all Christians. Suffering, calamity, poverty, danger are very common experiences which people, Christians in Uganda and other parts of the world have experienced. 